Welcome to Jam Online. We are so glad that you are here today. Yeah, we are so glad. I have been waiting for Jam Online for a whole week now. Have you? Yeah. Well, it's so funny that you say you have been waiting because today is all about patience. Oh, oh no. What what is it, Ruby? Well, my mom tells me that I am not very patient at times. Well, I think sometimes we all struggle being patient, especially when we're waiting on something we really, really want. Yeah. You're right. Well, before we really get into our lesson today, I think it's important we pause and talk to Jesus. I agree. That means that it's time for our... Repeat Repeat prayer! prayer! All right, so you cool kiddos know how to do this. So you guys and Ruby will repeat after me as we talk to our Heavenly Father. So, I just follow along with the jammers? Yep, you've got it. So, let's talk to God. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For showing me your love. For showing me your love. And being patient with me. And being patient with me. Please help me. Please help me. To show others. To show others. I love them. I love them. By being patient too. By being patient too. Amen. Amen. Awesome, guys. So, like we said earlier, today is all about patience. Hey, Miss Mara, mm-hmm. what does it mean? The word patience. What does it mean? <gasps> That's a good question, but before I answer it, maybe the jammers at home can, like, help us out. So, jammers, what do you think the word patient or patience means? Whoa. So many answers. I think they all knew what the word meant. I think you're right. And the Canadian Oxford Dictionary actually defines patience as calm endurance of hardship, provocation, pain, delay, etc., and tolerant perseverance. But for us, patience can be defined as keeping going, even if things get hard. Staying calm when someone or something is bothering you and waiting calmly for things. That's right. There are all kinds of verses in the Bible that talk about being patient and how important it is. I mean, Jesus was patient too. And we have been learning that if Jesus did it, we should do it too. That is absolutely right. Okay, and Ephesians 4.2 says, Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Oh, oh, oh. And in Galatians 5.22 and 23, we are told, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. That's right. And in both of those verses, we are told to be patient, along with some other really cool things, too. It's important to wait. Not everything happens right when you want it to. I've learned that myself. You are so right. The Bible tells us that Jesus wants to have all of these amazing things in life. But sometimes we have to be patient and wait for him to give them to us. So our Bible story today comes from James and Mark. It's found in both places. In these stories, are we taken to the field and the crops? 
<gasps> That's right. So let me ask you a few questions and maybe you and our jammers at home can find out the answers. Okay? Are y'all ready? Get ready. Okay. So question one, how long does it take for a crop like maybe corn to grow? Uh, I mean, a long time? Like, I guess it really does depend on what you're growing. But I guess it can take a while. That's right. You can't just, like, throw a bunch of seeds out and boom, farm, done. Right? So my next question, what would happen if the farmer got tired of waiting and just plowed the, bit, the field before it even had, like, a chance to rain? Ooh, that would not be good. They may not get any crops or nothing. <gasps> That's right. And when farming... Waiting or patience is one of the most important parts. So, Miss Mariah, I see the importance of being patient, but how is farming connected to God? Well, our lives are like a different kind of farm. God wants us to be patient in helping him bring in a harvest of people for his kingdom. Every time someone asks God to forgive their sins and tells him that they, you know, want Jesus to be their leader of their life, it's a part of the harvest for God's kingdom. And when we show God's love to others or tell them that God loves them, we're kind of farming for God. Oh, I see. Yeah, so so God wants us to be to be patient, but he also wants us to help others turn uh, to him and, of course, for them to love him. And sometimes when we're trying to show people how awesome God is, it takes time for them to really get it. And so that's when patient comes in, being patient comes in, too. So being patient is important in our daily life and in our spiritual life. Yes, exactly. Oh, man. <gasps> it's time. It's time for, for our I say, you say statement. Oh, wow. Time flies. You are absolutely right. So for today, why don't you lead me and the cool kiddos at home? We'll repeat after you. You got it. <clears throat> patience is important patience is important and though waiting can be hard and though waiting can be hard i will strive to be more patient i will strive to be more patient jesus wants me to do this jesus wants me to do this so i will try so I will try. Yeah! Awesome! Great job, everybody. Well, it's that wonderful part of Jam Online that is craft time. Craft time. So, so, today's craft is a little bit different. Today's craft will require Oh, oh. Yep, everybody's favorite thing. Today, we are going to be growing our very own sugar crystals. What? Sugar crystals? Yep. Whoa. And it is going to be totally awesome. But it's going to take time for them to grow. So, jammers, today, you and your handy dandy grown up are gonna work together to make your very own sugar crystals. So, grown ups, be sure to help your jammers follow those steps in the jam week seven envelope. Yep, you're gonna use that glass jar, the paper clip, and the string, along with a few other items. And then you're gonna make your very own crystal. I am so excited about this. How long will it take? Well, it can take as little as 24 hours or sometimes a little bit more. But when you're finished, you'll know because all of the sugar is gone out of the bottom and it's part of your actual crystal. 
what do I do when it's done? Well, that's a good question. First, take a picture and add it to the Facebook group so that we can keep it and look at it. Um, and, you know, you can brag about your sugar crystal a little bit. But then, after you've taken your picture and posted it, you can look at your crystal. You can even eat your oh. crystal. Whoa. But the important part is that every time you look at your crystal, you remember that just as the crystals did not grow right away, okay, sometimes it takes time for the good things that God has for us to happen. So we should wait with joy. <gasps> oh, man. I need to get started on mine. I can't wait. But I also know I have to wait some. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, yes, but before you get started working on your crystal, we need to say a prayer. And of course, we need to say goodbye to our good friends. True, 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 true. So let's pray. God of love, you demonstrate your patience for us through your continual forgiveness of sin. Day after day, I fail, yet your word assures me of your enduring love and forgiveness. Thank you for your son, Jesus and for the way he modeled patience with his disciples. Thank you for your unending patience with all of us. Amen. Amen. Today was awesome, and I can't wait to see everyone's crystals. I know! Me too! Thank you guys for jamming with us! Bye!